Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be doing my July favorites for you and I'm going to start off with my beads. I bought these beads, they're called the Shadow Grey. Um, these are the studio beads with gold detailing and they are over the ear noise cancelling and I have been absolutely loving them. Not only do I like the colour and how it's got a bit of gold so it makes it a little bit more pretty for me but um, I just love that they're over the ear and they're wireless so um, they just fit my ears so nicely because I've got quite small ears and um, they have just been the best sort of thing to have when you're going outside you want to be outside surrounded by people but you don't want to be distracted i.e. Starbucks. Starbucks has been a place that I've really wanted to work at and um, not be distracted, this is it. Uh, so I can still hear the environment uh, but it's just not so annoying and uh, listen to my own music or listen to lectures or what have you. And I also love the fact that you can um, collapse them down so that they fit your bag really nicely and then they also come with a hard case too if you want to protect them even more. And these I bought from Amazon, um, it was just from Beats company itself, but um, they were £100 less than on the Apple website, so I'm not really sure why. It's, again, as I said, it was from the same company, brand new, like perfect packaging, and came really fast, um, but it was significantly cheaper, so um, that's always a bonus. And I had not tried them for when working out, I'm not sure how these would work. Uh, I do know people do work out with them, but for me, I don't know if they would necessarily slip off or not. But um, they were an inv investment, but so worth it. I've been going back and forth as to what to get, um, and I didn't really want to break the bank quite yet because I didn't know if I was going to utilize them as much, but I've been using them all the time, and even when I'm at home and you know, I'm not living with anyone and I'm not distracted. I've just been putting them on because it's just really nice and clear and music sounds so good. There's been songs I've been listening to that I didn't realize I was bass to and I'm a huge bass person. And so now it's made me fall in love with these songs even more. So that's one. The second one that I've been, uh, accessory that I've been really loving is from Key Australia. I don't go for sunglasses quite often, um, especially from Key because Key is a very trendy company but they also have sunglasses that are kind of very big and don't fit my small face shape and um, unless I'm wearing contact lenses I can't wear sunglasses anyway so I stick to my Cartier cat eyes because they've got prescription in them. Um, but I'm wearing contact lenses more so and um, I've been really looking for a sunglass that not everyone has, is still trendy and fashionable, um, but is low-key effortless and I found them. So I bought mine from Solstice and are, they are the cat number three, which is kind of funny that I don't want cat eye, but they're called Lens Cat 3. So um, this is what they look like and I love them. They are so cool and they're not uh, completely like shaded out, you can still see my eyes but with reflection and stuff um, you can't quite see straight away and I love the fact that they're this kind of like the size of my eyes, they're very on trend but everyone's been getting the cat eye ones so I like the fact that mine are different and I just feel like when I go get brunch or when I I'm on a coffee date and I put these on, I don't look so like I've made an effort. I I feel like this is like very effortless, cool um, sort of sunglasses. And um, I yeah, I just really like them. And they're so unbelievably comfortable and so sturdy. And yeah, I just think, I think they look really fun. Like I feel like I look like I'm a girl and jeans and a t-shirt with my glasses and I've come out and got a coffee with you, no big deal. Whereas in reality, I've thought about it. So um, I really liked it and um, I think it was a great price point. I believe these were about $50. I think that 100% worth it. And obviously it comes in a nice carrying case and yeah, I love this accessory. 
the last accessory I have to show you is my dual saddle bag. I have been loving this for like the past year and I haven't been showing it on Instagram too much but if you would have checked me out in the summer of last year you would have seen I had it in Miami. Um, I just love the silver detailing. I don't have any uh, bag that I can recall that has silver hardware. It's just a casual bag but yet it's so um, it's so it's casual, but it's cool, but it also looks quite smart. Um, I love that it's fabric and not all leather, and it fits everything and anything that I want in here, and it's a really good evening bag and errands bag. I kind of just like hold it underneath um, my armpit and just kind of like run around and do errands. I also hold it handheld, which looks super cute, but obviously you can have it over the shoulder for more security and whatnot. And it just ties in my outfits so well. So like, for example, I'm wearing these redone jeans. These are the Cindy Crawford jeans with a black Tommy Hilfiger top, a Miranda Fry necklace that I've been absolutely loving. It's the Hope Charm. It's a beautiful big pendant on a long chain. And my Gucci belt that I got, which is also one of my favorite accessories. I've lost weight, so I need to get a hole made. Um, so maybe I'll ask the guy to do it for me. Um, and I just love it. I love the gold and silver mix and just see how I look so effortless and just like, you know, just like, oh, I'm walking around New Orleans, you know, or wherever I am or down the mall. And it just ties in my outfit. I look extra like casual, but put together. And I really, really love it. And these hoops are from Revolve, which I love. They're so light and they've got like a gold twist. I've just been really into gold at the moment. If you check my Instagram out, you'll see that I'm just back into the gold. But I'm also absolutely loving the silver. And I might actually wear, yeah, I think I will. Um, I'm going to wear my silver necklace, which um, is also kind of swirly. Not sure if you'll be able to see the pattern, uh, but I got this from Forever 21 and I'm really into kind of that gypsy look. You know how I ha I've been talking about that sometimes here and there in my video that I really like the gypsy style. Um, I just think it looks so cool and um, I get my inspiration from JLo, <laughs> especially like one of her songs that I really like, which is old school. So yeah, and just, I just think it's so cool and it just, I don't know, it looks, I really love it. I really love it. I love the mixing. Um, so super into that. So those are my accessories. And then I've got shoes, really been into pointy white flat shoes. These are um, Aquazuras. Um, I think these are the Cosmics. And the only problem I have with Aquazuras are that in my Christie flats, I'm a 37 for sure. But these are a 36 and a half and they fit exactly the same. So I'm not sure what the deal is on that. But I really love these because they're white. I haven't had a white pair of shoes, gosh, in since like university back in the day. And I haven't done pointy shoes apart from my Christie's in a long time. And I love that they have the star studs on them. It's just something that I would have chosen a long time ago because I love stars. Um, and um, I've just been, I've been loving wearing it and I love coordinating at the moment. So I'd wear a white cardigan or a white t-shirt, something to tie it in. And I really like that the Dior has a sort of white base or like a, um, yeah, off-white base. And so they match together indirectly. So it's just been really fun to add a lot of texture, as you can see with my my Gucci belt, you know, has that sort of like rope look and my twist on the hoops and like the chains. I've just really been into texturizing and wearing quite plain jeans and a t-shirt type of look. Then the next things that I have to talk to you about, um, the hair perfume by Burrito, and it's the Black Saffron. This is expensive, like a perfume, but it is so beautiful. This is not a scent I would have gone for. Um, it's something that is very new to me, but I can't get enough of it. It's very woody and very warm, but it smells so divine, and I have had compliments on that, and I never get complimented on my hair smell. Um, you know, like if I wear shampoo, it smells really great, but then it just goes away, and so people comment on my, you know, 
on my perfume, but no one's ever said that my hair smells really nice and it was thanks to this. And I spray it really like lightly just in the insides so that every time I flick my hair or move my hair, there's like a scent burst. And that's what I've found with the burrito um, perfumes is that when you sweat or, and you think like you no longer smell, a burst kind of comes out like from your skin. And you it's like you've reapplied because I literally walked like two blocks in New Orleans, which if you've lived here or you live in the South, you know that's like murder in the day. Um, and I just thought, oh great, I smell so good when I stepped out of it. You know, I smelled really nice. And then as soon as I went into the mall, I was like, I bet I don't smell good. And I was just walking along and I suddenly got this whiff of like, really intense scent which was the Mojave Ghost by Barreto which I love and I was like oh my god that person's so lucky and it was me and I was like oh wow it's me I can just I suddenly smell myself and normally no matter what perfumes I use I don't smell it on me so the fact that I got this like burst of scent again um like moments later was just a pleasure so I've really been loving loads of the scents and um, just choosing which one I really want to um, kind of invest in. Mojave Ghost is my favorite. As I said, it reminds me of the date I had, my first date with this guy. Um, and But I love Black Saffron too. And I love mixing. And I've actually been mixing um, my Barreto scents with the Joe Malone Tropical Caramoya. Oh my gosh, if you have not smelt this, this is limited edition. I will have to 100% either buy another of this size or the full size because this is like, this is like nothing I've ever smelt. And it's so perfect for summer. It is a beautiful gift to give someone. I, I just, it's just gorgeous. And I love the pink and the orange and the green. Um, and then I've been loving the Sally Hanston Insta Dry. This is the Buff and Tumble in 203. And this is the most perfect nude with a really nice pink undertone. So it brings life to your skin. You don't look so like corpsey. Um, and it does still look like you've got a um, color on your toes. And I've been loving it for that. It's not what I'm wearing on my nails. My nails are gel dipped nails so it's just the nude that they had in powder form I'm not really sure what color it is um, but this color has just been so good it's a really nice um, opaque creamy color and I've just been back into the nudes and then um, speaking of nudes uh, my Tom Ford this is Spanish pink in 01 and as you can see I'm wearing it today it looks quite nude but Obviously, it's a pink color, um, but I just, it depends what sort of liner you use. So I've been wearing my cappuccino color um, lip liner by Rimmel, and so um, I've made it more nude, but as you can see on here, it's really nice and rosy, and it's just, it's just gorgeous, and it's one of those really, like, really balmy lipsticks it's just like a lip balm and it stays put though it's not even though it's slick on your lips it doesn't come off and it is one of those finishing lipsticks it's like if I ever do any sort of eye look or makeup and I don't really want to wear a color but I, I need something on my lips this is my go-to color and I've just been loving it for work and loving it for school and it just it just ties everything in together really really nicely um, two things that I mentioned in my get ready with me video, I'll put a card up here or here, um, linking that video, the Becca under eye, the brightening corrector in medium to deep is just amazing. This color is so good. I'm wearing it today. Normally my sister always hounds me for not, um, doing good concealer underneath my eyes. Um, I've just been, I've just been loving it. It, it covers my veins, but you can still see through. It matches with my my foundation, blends in so well. I don't need a powder to set it. It lasts through the New Orleans heat. It just matches and brings up like the hollowness of my eyes. It brings my skin up, brings me out, and it's just a holy grail. And the Hourglass Vanish Foundation Stick in Golden is 
unbelievable. I'm almost looking forward to finishing it so I can repurchase. And normally when I finish a foundation, I move on to another foundation, even if it's great, even if it's amazing. Being a beauty blogger, being into beauty, um, I've just, you know, I love trying new things, but this one, I know I don't want to try anything else. And it's just, I think what is the issue with me is that because of my skin tone, everyone always color matches me to a darker shade just because of my eyes and my hair. And so naturally when it's my turn to choose a color and I don't get matched, I go for quite a cooler tone, ashier color because I believe it's better to go that way and then bronze up and warm up naturally through those sort of um, elements um, as part of my beauty regime. But this, as you can see, is just blended in so nicely, but it's given me this like golden warm tone that I, I, I desperately need. It brings life into my face. I think I look more alive. I didn't realize how dull I was actually making myself because I was thinking by contouring and bronzing, I was bringing like life to me, but I wasn't. I was looking quite ashy. So this golden, which doesn't like give me darkness, but gives me a really nice, beigey foundation is just is spot on and as I you know as you can see it's just blended in so well but you can see that it's just covered me a little bit nicer it's a medium coverage I can definitely touch up on top of this and make it a bit more full coverage it doesn't move I do use a setting spray again as you see in the video I use a setting spray I've used setting powders they look great but even on its own um, as a touch-up, it's great with my beauty blender. I've also been using this, which is one of my favorite Sephora brushes of all time. It's the Pro Buffing Brush in number 70. And if I'm just using like the stick as a cover-up, I just like push it in and buff it in. And again, I don't need to set it and it just stays put. And the fact that it's triangular in shape really helps you get into the crevices. I use this underneath my eyes before I put the Becca on top. It's just wonderful and it's just such a pleasure to finally find something that I've been really enjoying. And then speaking of Becca, I've been loving the Velvet Blurring Primer, the Perfecting Base. This is a peachy undertone and quite liquidy and I've been really liking it. it it feels really smooth and quite silky on your skin. Kind of silk, silicone-y, but not as much as the Smashbox Photo Primer. And thinking that it would just sit on my skin and allows everything to glide on naturally, I thought things would slip off, but it hasn't. And even though my foundation is really amazing on its own, I have felt that it's just held a little bit better, a little bit longer with this, um, primer so i'm really glad that i got this as a hundred point perk i think i will buy the full size unless you guys have anything else that you would rather recommend or we try out for you if you're like no arzu this is like the primer of all time then i will definitely go and try that out first but i know i like that and then finally my Too faced peach palette it, this is the sweet peach um, I've gone back to loving this. I used this all summer last year. Um, I've just been loving it. I've actually been really loving the um, candied peach color. It's been really, really beautiful. And today I've got Luscious on and I've mixed it with puree and I've mixed it with Georgia. And Georgia is one of my favorite colors for a crease. And um, I've just been really loving these sort of like orangey tones at the moment and just the pigmentation. And I just love the reflectiveness of Luscious. It's a really nice sort of brown metallic and it's got like a sort of whitish silvery uh, tone to it, like a duochrome. It, it's really, really pretty and just livens up my eyes quite nicely. So that's what it looks like there. It, it gives a wet look and I think that's what I love about it, a wet, shiny look. Um, but you can kind of see the brown, which gives you that warmth and that sort of smokiness. Um, and I just, yeah, I really, really love this color. So I would highly, highly recommend this palette. And it's nice and thin and light. So, and even this foundation stick is just such a convenient 
packaging. So when I travel, I really, I don't need much with me. A lot, an eyeliner and mascara and I'm, I'm good to go. Plus like my face palette, that's all I need. So it's just so nice to really minimize everything. So that is it for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon. Take care guys. Bye.